live from the Dunkin' Donuts Ice Coffee Lounge. This one is um, basically it's a it's a lullaby to a future frozen egg baby. You know, women get their eggs frozen, and if the baby asks, if the <laughs> yeah, if women get their eggs frozen, and if the baby asks where they come from, it's like a more complicated answer. So and we wrote a lullaby for that baby. Yeah. <laughs> It's one that all mothers can sing to their children. Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here we go. Mommy, where do babies come from? It's pretty simple, actually. When a man doesn't love a woman very, very much, he signs away his paternal rights and jizzes in a cup. Then with lots of money and scientific genius, hormones, pain, and of course, um, Jesus. The process begins the way God intended with a transvaginal ultrasound with a wand longer than a ukulele. When it comes out of my body, it makes this sound. I give myself daily intradermal injections and acute blood thinner and estrogen concurrence, cryopreservation through hormonal activation, and none of it's covered by insurance. Then I'm knocked out and you're removed and combined with a stranger's cum. And as the saying goes, you win some. You dispose of the defective ones in a hazardous waste bin. And then you're frozen until I'm certain it's time to unthaw you into a person. Then you'll expire or you'll make the grade. And that, my darling, that's how babies are made. It's so easy and natural. Hush, little egg baby, don't say a word. Mama's going to freeze you till she gets rich. And when that day finally arrives, you'll be constructed in a petri dish with sperm donor 8W6-3, the silent partner of our family. So hush, little egg baby, don't be sad, just because I never fucked your dad. I know there are orphans everywhere, but I'm going to pretend that isn't real. Don't look at me like that just because I admit it. You had kids and you knew the deal. Yeah, I feel guilty about overpopulation and ruining the environment for forever, but Osama bin Laden had 20 kids, so fuck you or whatever. Sadly, procreation is not a meritocracy, and we need to prevent a real-life idiocracy. Though it may be the ultimate form of narcissism, it's also a way to re-reverse reverse Darwinism. I want all the stuff, I don't need to make a bucket list It doesn't make me greedy, it just makes me a feminist Now I'm thinking back through all the guys I've dated If they heard the song, they'd fucking hate it It's so easy and natural Hush, little egg baby, don't you cry You'll have the best jeans mommy can buy I don't want to wait till I get in dire straits. My friends say if I want kids, I should go out on some dates. But these working bitches don't have time to leave it to the fates. The world deserves more Ricky, And the world deserves more Kate. So, so hush, little egg baby, dads are overrated. He did what mattered when he masturbated. Hush, little egg baby, just hold firm. Mama's going to buy you designer sperm. And if that sperm gives you random traits, Mama's going to test your DNA. And if your DNA doesn't make things clear, Mama's going to just have to live in fear. And if that fear turns into guilt, Mama's going to hold on to what we built. And if I hold too tight as a suffocate, I'll buy you lots of things to overcompensate. And if that overcompensation's too transparent, I'll pretend to someone better with no male parent. And if you say, but mom, who's my dad? I'll say, I don't know, it's just too bad. And if that bed is from a hole in your heart, I want to make it up to you at one way to start. I'll probably start with saying it's just you and me, and there's no such thing as a normal family. So fuck being normal, let's do this shit. Mama's going to freeze you till she gets. Rich. That's it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you for coming. <laughs>